Uh, it's me again. <laughs> Surprise, oogie boogie. Um, just one other thing, like I was talking in that video a minute, my, my seminars are uh, high impact, fun, uh, demanding. Uh, I did a, a seminar a few years ago in Zurich, and a gal from England who was pretty desperate was in the class, and the and it got to be 6 o'clock Saturday evening, which is not even close to quitting time for me. Uh, we work most of my seminars Friday from 7.30 about uh, till about midnight. Uh, we do give you breaks, and you can get coffees and things when you're sitting teas and whatever you want when you're uh, working. Uh, more sitting and uh, interacting, let's say that. It's, 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 it's work, but it's, it's subtle and it's, and it's effective. Uh, <clears throat> and then, but we were getting to be Saturday night. It was about be dinner time. I said, okay, we're going we're gonna to go to dinner and then we'll continue. And uh, they're like, what? And I said, well, we've got quite a bit of work to do. And, and uh, there was quite a bit of grumbling. Uh, I had notified people that we worked long hours, but they, and this gal from England who'd worked with me quite extensively said, wow. <laughs> she said, the Swiss people are really wusses, aren't they? <laughs> and it was direct enough and offensive enough that we worked my hours. We worked probably until 1 o'clock that morning. On Sunday, we worked probably until 10, 30, or 11. Um, I said there's to unravel your mind, to make distinctions between your mind and your spirit, and to look for your dream, which is extremely fragile. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes absurdity. It takes non-logic. It takes letting you look at some of, the th some of your beliefs and seeing if you can see whether or not you want to keep them or not. Because a lot of people believe in things, and then you say, okay, have you looked at this? And they say, oh, no, oh, uh, no. But the point of this video is uh, I travel. I do seminars wherever people want me. Uh, if you find what I'm talking about curious, uh, email me, uh, mick, M-I-C-K, at micpeakperformance.com, and and let me know. Uh, I'll tell you what the criteria are for the various uh, seminars. I do a class called Healing Through Humor, which is, uh, by design, a lighter class, so there's room for more people. Uh, I can work with about 30 to 35 people in that, and I need uh, 12 people minimum uh, before I can make a move. Uh, Self-actualization is another animal. Uh, that's... I can only work with 12 people at a time because of the demands of the nature of taking somebody to self-actualization. Healing through humor is to get you in touch with your inner the fact that you can heal. And that's, that's one aspect of living a magnificent life. But self-actualization, that's, that's, that's a different phenomenon. That's when we go and we look for you, who you are actually, and then, if we're really, really fortunate in the weekend, we find that thing which, when you're doing it, your life works. And when I say that, what I mean is that when you're doing it, you can be fairly assured that that little voice inside your head will not be ruining your day. Or many, many days after the seminar. Now, when I work, I go out of my mind, and it's very refreshing. And I do that intentionally. And then for days after, life doesn't make any sense. It's perfect, but it doesn't make any sense. If it sounds curious, if it sounds like something you're willing to go through, uh, I've told people for years I'm destructive by nature, and there are parts of people's lives that need to be destroyed in order for them to find them. Uh, the real truth of the matter is, I enjoy the destruction. As we go through it, we go through it together. Um, I have found a way to find that entertaining to me. <laughs> www.micpeakperformance.com